Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you an exploit which allows you to switch characters on an Iron Man save file. I personally use this exploit on my All Legacies in 867 run and that's how I was able to conquer a lot of lands, be able to grant titles away so quickly. Now some notes are right now, first of all we are on the newest version of Crusader Kings 3, so we got the DLC installed Royal Court, and you can see the game version is 1.5.0.1. Now, in previous versions 1.4 and so on, there was an even easier exploit which we could use. However, Paradox fi fixed it, patched it, and they didn't even mention it in the patch notes. But so we had to resort back to this of our exploit to be able to do that run. Now, first of all, what we're going to do with any other run, like any other runs, we're going to start a new game. And then I personally prefer the 867 starting date, so we're going to pick that. And then we're going to hit play as any ruler in 867 or create your own. You could do it with the starting selection of characters, however, it would be a, a lot more annoying, a lot more of a hassle, so we're not going to do this for this small showcase. Now first things first, of course, most important, most crucial step, do not miss this. Enable Iron Man. Otherwise you are not going to have an Iron Man save file. Now secondly, if you want to create a custom character with which you want to play later on, do so now. So we are going to create a Byzantine Empress uh, with a good name, Anna. Anna of the Byzantine Empire seems good. You can give her all the stats, whatever you want, as long as you are under 400 points or have exactly 400 points spent. We're going to finalize the character. Now the next step is to find a character with which you can easily game over in this game. So what does ga uh, a game over mean? You do not have an heir who can take up your titles or your air would be landless for some reason, like if you get tonked in a war. Whatever the reason may be, you just need to find a character who can do so. And the easiest character to do that with in 867, in my opinion, is our mother of us all, or the mother of us all, the Roma of Dara. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the game, and then, well, you can name the character or the Safer, whatever you want to name it, character switch, exploit, a go, perfect name for a perfect uh, showcase. Now the reason why Dora is so good is she doesn't have an air and she also has the traits honest and just. Honest and just cause massive stress gain whenever you start a murder scheme. So we're just going to start a murder scheme against these foreign rulers, ignore that it will abandon the old one, doesn't matter to us. And we can also do so against our husband, we don't want to swear fealty when we want to murder him. At least try so. Try to do so. Now once you've done it four times, you're going to be at stress level 3, which is what we're going to need to be able to game over quite quickly. Now you can let the game run, and after exactly three days, so on the 4th of January, you're going to get a stress event. And what we're looking for here in January with any character is either the immediate death stress event, which is a hard um, good question, um, heart attack, or abdication. Now, in this case, with Dorama of Dora, you are guaranteed to get these three stress events. So you can always abdicate after three days, and that's what we're going to do. So you can see we're now on the game over screen. What we're going to do now is exit to, ma uh, man exit to menu and then exit to the main menu. And then once we're in the main menu, we are just going to continue this save file. Now from here on out, there are some things to note. There are in fact two different ways to perform this exploit from now on. One is a really simpler approach, however, could cause some bugs and issues. I've had it happen to me, so 
I chose the other option, which is more intricate and sophisticated. And that's also what I'm going to sh show in this video. I'm not going to show the easy or simple approach. Now, what you're going to do now is you're going to hit observe, then hit escape, exit game, exit to main menu. Once you've done so, and are now in the main menu again, you're going to hit continue. Now you're going to hit escape twice, and now you can see we can switch characters. Now you may say, well, Iron Man's disabled, achievements are not available. We're going to fix that in a moment. So what we can do now is we're going well, we can do the shenanigans you can do when you can switch characters. We can attack these guys over here, a holy for holy wall for county, and then of course we can immediately surrender it. So the Byzantine Empire got some additional land. We can play as the Abbasids and take charge of Egypt and of our claims, and then we can surrender that. And you can see now. The yeah, Abbasids control all of Egypt. Now what may happen is if you actually, let's say, play the Byzantines go for a lot of conquering is that you reach the stage where someone would game over. So we're just going to demonstrate it with the Yilid and Lagdara. So I'm going to attack Lagdara, uh, yes, Lagdara for the last county. And if we actually surrender this wall, we are going to game over again. That just means you have to perform the exploit one more time. So it should be quite simple after if you've done it like three times. So you're going to continue the game. You're going to hit observe. You're going to hit escape, exit game, exit to main menu. You're going to hit continue. Then you're going to hit escape twice, and then now you can switch characters again. And now you can see the apps that still control all of Egypt. The Byzantines still have this land in Charnil, Gilip, Conquered, Ladera, and so on. And you can con um, go on with your world conquest. Now, I personally did it on my um, all legacies in 867 run that I conquered like half of the world. Because at some point the game gets quite laggy. It's not that well optimized if you control a lot of counties. And take note, if you go for a lot of holy wars, you're going to get the counties yourself. Do not open the F2 menu if you have like a thousand uh, different counties. It can and will crash your game if it doesn't handle it well. So if you don't have a backup file, you may lose a lot of progress. So perhaps disable your F2 button in the options of Windows, whatever. Take note though. Now let's say you conquered all the lands you ever wanted and now you want to get your Iron Man file back. So you're going to go onto your character with which you want to save the game as. And then simply exit the game, exit to main menu and make sure you check this box. And then if we continue the game, right here you can first of all see Iron Man save. You can see we are actually starting with the Byzantines, with the Byzantine Empress right here. Yes, if we now look at the escape menu, in fact it's an Iron Man file with achievements available. The Abbasids still control all of Egypt, Yelip still controls like Dara, we still control Charnia, and your save file is perfectly fine and you can now play from normal. Now, regarding this exploit, a huge shout out to Dr. Sandwich 8. He helped me a lot in my All Legacies run. He helped me with this exploit and quite a massive thanks to him for that. I couldn't have done this run truly without him. Like my mental state couldn't have coped with it, but we're going to get into that later on why exactly my run was quite a hassle, or quite some pain to go through. As a spoiler though, you have to declare over 120 wars right away, which is quite repetitive and a pain on your wrist. 
so carpal tunnel syndrome may be induced. But that's all for right now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun with this exploit and breaking some games. It's always fun, I suppose.